My name is Georgine, and I'm a nutrition scientist at the British Nutrition Foundation. In this episode, we will be looking at the functions and sources of protein, as well as protein complementation. This is Nabil, who works as a chef in London, and he will be looking at the practical implications of nutrition theory regarding protein. Hi, I'm going to be making a delicious steak sandwich using whole grain bread, quarter of onion, few lettuce leaves, and a couple of slices of tomato, along with a piece of tenderloin steak. I'm also going to make some uh, um, a nice, tasty, delicious North African lentil stew. I'm going to get the vegetables ready while uh, Georgine tells us about proteins. Thanks. Protein is a macronutrient which is essential for growth and repair of the body. Protein also forms the structural and functional elements of body cells, is involved in various metabolic reactions and the maintenance of good health. It also provides energy. One gram provides 17 kilojoules. Um, and how much protein do we need each day? Well, the amount of protein we need changes throughout the course of life. Adults and children should consume two to three portions of protein each day. Adults need approximately 0.75 grams of protein per kilogram body weight each day. A typical 15 to 18 year old girl requires 45 grams of protein each day. If she is not on a weight reducing diet, this equates to around 15% of dietary energy. Whereas a typical 15 to 18 year old boy requires 55.2 grams of protein each day. That is an extra requirement for growth in infants and children and for pregnant and breastfeeding women. Well, I'm about to um, grill a steak, uh, which I guess is high on protein. What other foods provide uh, protein in the diet? Good question. The following foods are all good sources of protein. Looking at that list, it seems like all products from animal product, uh, provide a lot of protein. That's an interesting point to note. Protein is made up of amino acids. There are about 20 different amino acids commonly found in plant and animal protein. Different foods contain different amounts and combinations of amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein. Some amino acids can be made by the body and are called non-essential or dispensable amino acids. The ones which cannot be made by the body are called essential or indispensable amino acids and have to be consumed via the food and drink in our diet. Protein from animal sources such as meat, fish, eggs and dairy products provides all the essential amino acids needed by the body. This type of protein has a higher biological value. Most protein from plant sources does not provide all the essential amino acids when consumed individually and has a lower biological value. It is important for everyone to follow a healthy varied diet, including people following vegetarian and vegan diets. These people should plan what they eat, ensuring that they have a well-balanced diet, supplying all their nutritional needs. This includes the essential amino acids from protein. People following vegetarian and vegan diets can get all the amino acids they need by combining different plant sources of protein, such as pulses and cereals. This is known as protein complementation, so people following a vegetarian diet should try and eat a mixture of plant-based foods that are rich in protein every day. Good choices of protein-containing plant foods include pulses such as lentils, beans and chickpeas, nuts and seeds, soya products such as tofu, miso and soya drinks, microprotein, wheat proteins such as cereals, bread, rice and maize. The lentil stew and rice that Nabil is now preparing would provide all the essential amino acids we need. Hi. Here we got oil, onions, garlic, 
carrots and some potatoes along with some dried green lentils, spices and some canned chopped tomato. Firstly the chopped onion and minced garlic is fried on a low heat. After a few minutes we add the diced carrots and potatoes and cook for a few minutes. I'm using a mix of North African spice called Ras Al Hanout but you could also use gram masala or spices like cumin and coriander. Then add lentils. Then add the canned tomatoes and two or three cups of water. The stew is brought to the boil and then simmered until the lentils are tender before serving this with rice or your favorite bread. Mmm, it smells really tasty. So the protein from lentils and rice provides all the essential amino acids we need. Other ideas for combining protein sources include milk and breakfast cereal, a rice and bean salad, vegetable chili with kidney beans served with rice or tortillas, bread and cheese, soup made with lentils, beans or split peas with a chunk of bread, hummus and pita bread. It's important to get the diet as a whole varied and balanced. We can see that for the steak sandwich, Nabil has included vegetables and chosen wholemeal bread. This would increase the range of nutrients provided and the dietary fibre content too. If we are eating a varied and balanced diet, we are probably getting enough protein. Protein-rich foods tend to make people feel fuller compared with foods that are high in carbohydrate or fat. So including a lean source of protein with a meal can help to minimize feelings of hunger and decrease overall energy intake in the context of a controlled diet. Nabil, have you got some ideas of how we can do this? Yes, you could have baked beans uh, on toast for breakfast, egg and sandwich for lunch, and a vegetables and bean casserole with rice for an evening meal. One typical portion size could be 100 gram of lean boneless meat, 140 gram of fish, two medium eggs, or a handful of seeds or nuts. They are great ideas. Remember, a diet that is very high in protein and very low in carbohydrate doesn't fit well with the Eat Well plate. The Eat Well plate's healthy eating messages and cutting out whole food groups can mean people miss out on important nutrients. We have to remember, weight loss will only occur if energy intake is less than energy used, creating a negative energy balance. There are safety concerns about very high protein diets and some side effects such as fatigue and constipation. Thanks Nabil and thank you for watching. For further information on protein or any of the other nutrients, why not log on to our websites nutrition.org.uk or foodeffectoflive.org.uk. Bye for now. Hello.